friends, I've got a brand new Code Blocks lesson. I'm going to call it Code Blocks Chaos. So let's get cracking. Friends, of course, the first step is to click on Code Blocks, choose Create New Code Block, and choose New Design. Once we're in, I'm going to have you type Chaos, C-H-A-O-S, and press Enter. Friends, step one is to hit Math, Create Variable, and we've got to bring this out, rename it, and I'm going to tell you to do Shift L because it's easier to read. We need to bring out a second one, and we're going to rename it W. Does not have to be Shift, it's easy to read. Bring out another one, and we're going to rename it N. This will be a counter. Bring out another variable, and we're going to rename it Size. And bring out a fourth variable. Always make sure you bring out new ones. If you try and duplicate these, it does break things. And this one is going to be called Turn and tell it OK. Then find the count with I. And we're going to put the letter N in here. So move down to Data. Grab your variable N and drop it in. We're going to play with a shape today called the tube. You can change this later. Right now, we just want to take this tube. And where it has a radius, we're going to put our data L in there. Drop it in the box. Friends, I want you to quickly type in 5, 20, 22, and 25. We will change those later. Once you've got them typed in, you may speed it up and hit play. Boom, you made a tube. Change the height to too quick because it helps us later. First, friends, back to your modify, bring out a move, and we're going to duplicate it because we will have two of those. Also, bring out a rotate and put it in between them. Move down to your data, and we're going to drop in a length, and we're going to drop in a width. Friends, quickly bring out a math chunk. We're going to keep it plus. You're going to drop an I in there, and just for giggles, we're going to type 1.2. So we have made a piece of math. Grab it close to the math sign and drop it in the Z hole. You've always got to drop this edge. Don't drop this edge. It won't work. See how it doesn't go? It's got to be the left edge to put it in the hole. Friends, let's return to our data. And I want you to put the turn in that box. Let's real quickly build another math. This time we're going to do times. We're still going to use I. And this time we're going to do times 1.1. Just trying something unique. And then we're going to bring out an XYZ, pick this whole chunk up, and drop it in the X box. Notice this corner has to go in that X box. And then this whole chunk of math can go in the pivot. Let's change the height to 30. Now, friends, we need to move to math and find our change commands. We're going to change each of these variables in the loop. So switch to the size variable. And we're going to use this one again. Right click and duplicate. Instead of 1.1, make it 1.2. And now grab that chunk of math and drop it in. Bring out another change. Make it so it's L and we'll keep it changed by one. Bring out another change item. Make it W. And this time we'll change by three. And then finally, the last one, we're gonna change turn and I'm gonna tell you to change it by 15 degrees. Friends, this is where the fun starts. Make sure you've sped it up, hit play, and watch what you created. That, my friends, is called chaos. Now here's where it gets cooler. See how it says X? Change it to Y. Hit play, and check that out. Friends, keep adjusting these, make them crazy. Just change a variable and watch how different your whole project can turn out. Anything you want can be changed. You change one variable and it's a whole different project. You just never know what you're gonna make. Alrighty friends, so quickly, why did we do this? I wanted you to know how variables work. I wanted you to know how to make variables grow. And then I wanted you to see how you could make awesome things. Now it would make my day if you tried this with different shapes. Drop your variables, explore, switch the axis, change the amount they grow by. Just see what you can build. Oh my gosh, switch that to Z and it's insane. That's the point of the project. Friends, of course, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me. 
HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.